Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings and placements. Welcome for our quiz, uh, fourth in Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM Functional. I have already uploaded second quiz and uh, third quiz, and this is going to be the fourth one. So these all are related for the human capital management uh, functional. Okay. So now, uh, if you would like to go with only quiz, you can go for the playlist. Here you can find the quiz option, Oracle Fusion Cloud HCM quizzes. Yeah. Okay. So let's enter into the quiz. We are going to have five questions here. Let me start here. So the first question is, which object is not having tree feature? We got four objects in the below. In the below options, we got four objects. Out of these four objects, which one is not having the tree feature? In global HR model, we have something called trees concept. So for which object we do not have this tree concept? Which object is not having tree object? Is it position or is it department or is it organization or is it job? So which object does not have the tree's future? That's the question. So we have four different types of trees in global HR. One is geography trees, position tree, department tree, organization tree. These are the four different types of trees we have. Trees are mainly used to maintain the graphical hierarchy between these objects. Whenever we want to define this is parent, node and this is child node. If at all we wanted to go for define the graphical representation for these objects, then we are going to have the trees which are built in. We cannot define the new concept. Whatever the trees concept is given by Oracle, for that we can go for create our own tree. Okay. But jobs does not have any tree feature. Job object does not have any tree feature. Click on this. Next. That's the right answer, job. Second one, when we are hiring an employees, we are going to have, we are going to have transfers, terminations, global transfer, these all options we have. Now the question is, what is transfer? Now the question is, what is transfer? Is it a transfer an employee from one legal employer to another legal employer? Is it cancel the employee work relationship? So whenever you cancel some work relationship, it's it's nothing but a cancel. It's nothing but a transfer. Transfer an employee within the legal entity from one BU to another BU or one department to another department or one location to another location within the, within the legal entity. Legal entity. Transfer an employee one enterprise to another enterprise. So we have four options over here. We have four options here. So now the question is, what is transfer? So which statement is the definition for this particular action called employee transfer out of these four options? Transfer an employee from one legal employer to another legal employer. It comes basically global transfer. Cancel employee work relationship is something you are canceling the work relationship. It's not like transfer. Transfer an employee within the legal entity is the correct answer. Transfer means within the legal entity, means within the legal employer, you can transfer one department to another department, one BU to another BU, one position to another position. That comes as transfer. Transfer an employee one enterprise to another enterprise. Obviously, we will find only one enterprise. When we are implementing human capital management, we don't find multiple enterprises. There will be only one enterprise, right? So this we don't find. So obviously, the third one is the right answer. Click on this. The answer, correct. Now, the third question, we are going for it. I would like to hire an employee which role is required. We know that Fusion Applications is a RBAC, Role-Based Access Control. Role-Based Access Control application. If you want to 
access the application, first you need a role, then you need a data access, nothing but a security console. So for example, I want to hire an employee, which role is required? I want to hire an employee, which role is required? Is it a human resource specialist? Our employee role is enough, or line manager, or human resource administrator? Which one is required? So generally, when you want to hire an employee, we will be using human resource specialist. This okay. is role required. Human resource specialist role is required. Next, fourth question, which component is not the part of employment model? We know that we have an employment model here. It's a combination of uh, three components, but here four options are there. Which one is uh, not a part of your work employment model? Is it work relationship or is it assignment or is it contingent contractor or is it employment? Term? Which component is not part of your employment model? Contingent contract term is not the part of employment term. Employment term is basically the relationship between the worker and employer, means work relationship, assignment, and employment terms. When you combine all these three components, then it's a employment model, two tier or three tier. Contingent contract term is not part of the employment model. In fact, we do not have any uh, word like this, contingent contract term, okay? Click on this. Now that's the correct answer. Now the last question, can we find terminated employee record in the application? We know that we'll hire employees, we'll transfer employees, then we will go for rehire employees, reverse the termination, cancel the, a lot of actions we'll be performing. Now the question is, we terminated an employee. After employee termination, I would like to see the employee information in the application. Is it possible? If it is possible, where exactly we can find? Yes, we can find out, but we can access only from backend. Is this the correct statement? Yes, we can find the per employee from person management page. Yes, we can find, but we have to use API to get. So which statement is uh, correct? Here. The first one also is correct, but that word is used only from backend. Only from backend. But the question is can we find terminated employee record in the application? Means we wanted to check it from the front end. Application means from the front end, we want to whether we can access or not. Yes, we can find in the person management page. We can find in the person management page. And yes, we can find, but we have to use API. So APIs are there generally for data insertion and for data retrieval, but I don't think so. We have separate API to get the person records which are terminated. In fact, that's not required also. Okay. So what I'm mentioning is the second one is correct because the question is, can we access from application? Okay, so yes, we can find it from the person management, but there we have a checkbox, terminated records also. If we check that checkbox, then it will show the information. Okay, so here you can access the employee records from backend also, from BI reports, we can write query, but only from backend, only this word is not correct, right? It's not that only we can access the terminated records from backend or we have to use API. You can directly access from the front end from the person management page itself, we can access, but we have to check the checkbox called terminated records also we wanted to show. That's why we have to use this. That's the correct answer. Okay, so this is about our uh, fourth quiz related for human capital management functional. Let's go through and if you have any doubts, please ping me in the comment, subscribe for my channel to get latest updates training and placements options in Cloud HCM, please contact our coordinator. You can find the number here in the description. Whenever you play the video, you can find the description over here. Okay. Thank you.